Hello everyone, welcome back to our video tutorial. Today we are going to walk through how to design a full width hero pattern using background layers and a combination of other design tools. Let's get started. First, select a single column grid and set the container to full width. This gives us the broad canvas we need to start our design. Next, navigate to the background layers tab. Here we're going to add a new background image layer. To do this, simply click on the set background image box which will allow you to add your image directly from your media library. Once the image is set, go to the background size tab and set it to cover. This ensures our image fully covers the background of our grid. You may notice some extra default padding around our image. Let's go ahead and remove that. Now select the column and set the width to 49.3%. Then select Auto Width in the Margin settings to ensure our content aligns nicely. Next up, we're adding a new background layer. This time, we're going to add a color layer. Set the color opacity to 80% to give a nice overlay effect to our background image. Now, it's time to add in our content. Start with the headline and place it where you want it to be. Next, add a button and update the button text to your liking. Let's make our button more interesting by adding an arrow icon. Launch and search in the SVG icon cloud. Set the button color and hover settings to match your design. Don't forget to set the icon's stroke width. To make our button stand out, let's give it a border. Adjust the button's padding and set the button border radius to give it a more rounded look. To ensure our content isn't too cramped, let's give our column some padding. Next, we're going to add a decorative arrow to our hero. We'll use background layers for this. Browse to the icon, select it, and it will load onto your hero. In the sidebar settings, we can set the width and position of the arrow. Now let's adjust the responsive settings. These settings will ensure our design looks great on all device sizes.
Once you've made all your adjustments, click the Publish button to preview the design. So far, it's looking great. The last steps involve setting the responsive setting for smaller screens. Mostly, we will adjust the paddings and font size for a better view on smaller screens. For the smallest screen, we are going to set our column to full width and set the background color layer to 90% opacity for a stronger visual impact. And that's it! You now know how to design a simple hero that is full width and has background layers. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials like this one. See you in the next video!